Chesapeake in Ohio 2716 is a class K4, a Kanawha, which is just what Chesapeake and Ohio called their Berkshires. Really, they were they were just Berkshires, but Chesapeake and Ohio wanted to feel special. 2716 actually, so far anyway, has had two separate excursion careers and is in the process of being restored for a third one. It's pretty unusual for a locomotive to get that many chances, but it looks like 2716 is gonna get hers, as both her previous careers ended due to issues that really weren't her fault. 2716 was built in 1943, not by Lima, who is generally known for building Berkshires. 2716 was built by Alco, and she was the 17th member of the K4 class. Berkshires, or Kanawas, whatever, were known for being incredibly powerful and efficient locomotives, and the K4s were no exception. They were used to haul heavy freight trains as well as fast passenger trains. But since she was constructed in 1943, you may see where this is already going. And yes, her career was not very long. She lasted 13 years before being withdrawn as CNO was starting to dieselize. The significant portion of her sisters were sold for scrap, but CNO actually wound up saving 13 of their Kanawas, which is a pretty decent amount from a preservation perspective. And 2716 was fortunate enough to be included in that. In May of 1959, she was donated to the Kentucky Railway Museum in New Haven, Kentucky, where she sat on static display for 20 years, just hanging out, chilling, vibing. But after two decades, the Clinchfield Railroad, which was an operating and holding company for the Carolina Clinchfield and Ohio Railway, actually leased 2716 to use for their own steam program, it seemed like 2716 might get a second lease on life, but unfortunately this would not happen, at least at that point. As she was being disassembled for restoration, the steam program was cancelled due to a scandal within the parent company, Seaboard Coastline Industries. They wound up ousting the Clinchfield Railroad's general manager, Thomas D. Moore Jr., as he was found to be participating in a scandal of misappropriated funds. 2716, still disassembled, was sent back to the Kentucky Railway Museum, who I'm sure were super happy that they'd gotten their locomotive back in pieces. Later, in 1980, 2716 was again leased, but this time by a much more reputable organization, the Southern Railway as they wanted a larger, more powerful locomotive to pull their longer and heavier passenger trains for their own steam excursion program. Southern Railway brought 2716 to their steam locomotive workshop in Irondale, Alabama, where their master mechanic, Bill Purdy, actually wound up altering her appearance in order to make it look like the Southern would have purchased a Berkshire type like new. She was painted black with gold pinstriping, while her front smoke box plate was painted in a lighter graphite color. Her headlight was moved from her pilot to the center of the smoke box door, and it was decorated with brass flag holders and a brass eagle ornament. Additionally, her bell was mounted swinging from the top of her smoke box, and she carried the round SR emblems on her air compressor shields. She looked, uh, well, different, but definitely a lot prettier than she had. And after a test run on October 10th and 11th in 1981, 2716 pulled her first excursions on October 17th and the 18th. She ran a round trip from Chattanooga, Tennessee to Rockwood, Tennessee. In November of that same year, she pulled excursion trains in Alabama and Georgia. And after taking a break over the winter, she resumed excursion activities in April of 1982, pulling trains through North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, and even Virginia. Things were going very well, but three months into that during the summer, a very inexperienced fireman was on board, and he managed to damage her firebox. How did you screw up that badly, man? This meant that 2716 had to be taken out of excursion service for repairs, and Nickel Plate Road 765, who was also a 284, was actually called in to serve as a replacement so the excursions didn't have to be cancelled. Following the merger between the Southern and Norfolk and Western, 
which formed Norfolk Southern, 2716 was actually retired entirely in favor of Norfolk and Western 611. In 1982, 2716 would be placed into storage at the Irondale Workshop in 1985 after attempts to fix her firebox actually failed. Norfolk Southern would later end their steam program entirely in late 1994, and when that happened, the Fort Wayne Historical Society, who were the owners and operators of 765, wound up moving 2716 in 1995. In July of 1996, they restored her back to her original CNO appearance and managed to repair her firebox. They operated her on brief push-pull excursions between Logan Swart, Indiana, and Gilman, Illinois. But 2716's second new lease on life was uh, not to last very long. The Federal Railroad Administration, or FRA, inspectors ordered the organization to either give 2716 new flus or give 765 a complete overhaul. Since 765 was the organization's baby, they certainly weren't going to choose any other locomotive over her, and 2716 would make her final run in October of 1996. After that, Fort Wayne decided to return her to her display site at the Kentucky Railway Museum in 2001, and she would hang out there for another 16 years. But from the looks of things, it's not over for 2716. On the contrary, there are many a rail fan that definitely remember her when she operated and would love to see her actually have another chance. It seems that both times, her excursion careers were cut tragically short for one reason or another. And on February 7th, 2016, the Kentucky Steam Heritage Corporation was formed and they announced that they had signed a long-term lease with the Kentucky Railway Museum specifically to restore and operate 2716. By May of 2018, the KSHC had partnered with CSX to move 2716 to a former Louisville and Nashville rail yard in Ravenna, Kentucky, in order to construct a new rail-based tourist and community development center. In November of 2018, the KSHC acquired three pieces of rolling stock from the Indiana Transport Museum, which included an auxiliary tender, a former Pennsylvania Railroad Railway Post Office car, as well as a baggage car. In January 2019, the Big Rivers Electric Corporation in Henderson, Kentucky, wound up salvaging a pair of Buckeye three-axle roller-bearing trucks from a flat car, which had been abandoned at their facility property in Hawesville, Kentucky. They wound up donating them to the KSHC in order to replace the old friction-bearing trucks that were underneath 2716's tender. From July 26 to the 28th in 2019, 2716 was moved out of the Kentucky Railway Museum for the first time in 18 years and went to Ravenna, Kentucky for restoration. She was officially moved into the Ravenna workshop on July 31st and work began shortly after that. As part of the process, the firebox side sheets, which had been patched up twice during her two previous restorations, were completely replaced with newly fabricated ones. In March of 2022, the KSHC was in exchange with the Pueblo Railway Museum in Pueblo, Colorado, to swap out two of 2716's inoperable air compressors with two operational compressors that had come off of PRM's inoperable Santa Fe Class 2900 steam locomotive, number 2912. In September of 2022, the KSHC purchased new boiler flues from the Hoosier Valley Railroad Museum's nearly identical locomotive, 2789. The plan is to eventually modify 2716's firebox to burn oil instead of coal and just last month, October 2023, the KSHC received $1.9 million from the government of Kentucky to aid in the locomotive's restoration. Once this work is finished, 2716 will eventually travel over the Naugatuck Railroad in Connecticut. So at the moment, it seems as if things are progressing well. And hopefully, perhaps in a few years, or just a year, or even less, 
we'll see 2716 run again. And this time, I think we can all hope that it's for a good long while. And with that, a special thank you so to all my underwater train finders, some dude 267, Orange Glass, Benjamin Owens, Panzer Kitsune 131 232, Anzac A1, Arthur Roy, Tommy Rossini, Lord Captain Von Thrust III, Brian, Jack Carson's Row Videos, Lord Off 444, Mark Holding, Murder Drones Doll, A Person 723, DM Tribal Typhoon, Alfonso Lapuche, Royal Hunter 2860, Iserfer 1405, Charles Kwiatkowski, Matthew Wolf, Mr. Sleepy, Matt Weaver, Tom Red Lion, NS Productions 8104, Hannah Bird, Hendrick Motorsports Fan 5, Wheeljack 8401, Rescues Greyhounds, The Baxter, Caleb Crosswhite, Ohio Trucker 1, Joshua Long, Andrew Bowen, Prez Drenton, Bradley Bowden, Dr. Racer 78, Josh Johnson, and Travis Dolinsky. Till next time, this is Darkness, and if you want a fun farewell.